Hello everyone, my name is Karen Williams and this is my final speech outline and my attendant audience is my instructor and my fellow classmates. I will begin my final speech outline with an introduction. I have had so many great opportunities learning new and exciting things these past seven and a half weeks. I had never given a public speech before an audience prior to this and to learn how to successfully do this has truly been inspiring to me. This child, this, I'm, I'm sorry, this course was a challenge, but at the same time I found it exciting and interesting. And the three things that I found most helpful and interesting to me were the intention getting, the speech organization, and the ability to engage with my audience. My main point number one is attention getters. Attention getters are like first impressions. What you say in the beginning of your speech to gain your audience's attention can either make or break your speech. Subpoint number one is stating a bold statement to the audience can grab their attention in, a very, in the very beginning can be an excellent attention getter. Subpoint number two is another great attention getter is telling, or I'm sorry, another great attention getter is beginning your speech with a vividly told story that the audience can not only hear, but that they can also vividly imagine. May point number two is speech organization. Organizing your speech can bring depth to your ideas and keep your thoughts from rambling on and becoming just random. Knowing what you want to say and how you want to say it is important, but so is the ability to put it together in a comprehensible manner so that the audience can understand it. Subpoint number one to this would be, as pointed out in our textbook, The Art of Public Speaking by Stephen E. Lucas. The relationship between the framework of the outline and the ideas that of the speech should remain relevant. This will allow consistency throughout your speech. Subpoint number two, another point made evident in the textbook, The Art of Public Speaking, was when giving a speaking outline, it's best to state your outline in full sentences that can be easily understood just by sight. So that way, when you're at the podium and you're, right, you're jotting down things, you don't want to look at it and not understand what you're trying to say. You want to be able to look at it and be able to say exactly what you mean. You don't want to stumble on words. Main point number three is engaging the audience. The use of eye contact with your audience and proper use of gestures and body language are important and allow for your speech to come alive right there in front of your audience. Subpoint so number one is to make sure that you focus on individuals in the audience rather than just passing your gaze along the room. This will allow for you to bond with individuals throughout the room or throughout your audience. Main point, I'm sorry, and this is also comes from the Toastmasters International website. Another point made by the Toastmasters International website is in my subpoint number two is to be sure to smile and to use facial expressions to express emotions that you're trying to convey. Another point made by the Toastmasters International website is to make sure that your gestures are natural and that they're convincing. Half-hearted gestures look artificial. Conclusion. In conclusion, the skills and experience that I have learned throughout this past seven and a half weeks will leave me with a lifetime of knowledge that I can continue to build upon. This has only began to enhance my way of life and my experiences on the job. I am equipped with the necessary skill set to continuously move forward both in my personal and my professional life. Thank you.